All right, just wanted to uh, do a little thing about skate shoes, especially on a budget. Um, I, we are a single income family, um, and income I get is not all that great. As, as a correctional officer, I just don't get paid that well. Um, so a lot of things that I do, I have to do on a budget. For instance, uh, shoes, um, specifically skate shoes. Um, let me show you what I have going on. So these right here, once I decided to start getting back into skateboarding, I was looking around and new shoes are not all that bad, but it's still not in my price range. So I looked around on Facebook Marketplace. There's a lot of people that will, um, since skate shoes are a fashion item, they will buy these shoes and get tired of them and decide to get rid of them. Or, or they just sit around for a while and they decide to sell them on make Facebook Marketplace. I got both pairs of these vans for $40. $20 a piece. Um, not too crazy about the roses with the uh, checkerboard pattern, but it is what it is. They, they were my size and they were the right price. I'll skate them for a while. Um, typically what you want in a skate shoe is something with a real rubber outsole. It just it grips the deck better. Um, it just does all kinds of things better. But what, what, um, what the reality is, and I haven't really seen a whole lot of tutorials on YouTube about, is just how much skateboarding tears your shoes up. Um, and some of the skate shoe companies have built in uh, ways to protect and some have not, you know. Vans is not really a skate shoe company. They they started out as BMX. Um, and BMX doesn't really tear up the uppers of your shoes that much. So they've pretty much stayed traditional all the time. Um, they might have a few models that are a little bit tougher, that are leather, or whatever. But, um, yeah, as you can see... Right here, I've already started an ollie. I mean, a, a couple of holes from ollieing. That grip tape really gets the side of your shoe right there. And as you can see, I have taken some. What I need is some shoe glue, but this Gorilla Clear Grip works just as well. It's just a little bit more expensive. Shoe glue is cheap, and it's a big old tube of it. Um, dyed in the wool old school skateboarders we were we were really invested in the shoe goo um shoe goo and, and duct tape because we were tearing up our stuff all the time um so i have started a little ollie patch on each of these um like i said shoe goo is a little bit better just simply because it's cheaper and, and it really does adhere well um the reason why I have low top canvas shoes in the first place is my feet sweat really bad. I could have gone for some high tops that were leather, would have a little bit more protection here, but I, I mean, I, when I wasn't skateboarding, I was wearing sandals all the time just because my feet sweat that bad, even in the winter in here in North Florida. So that's what it is you know um back in the day when i was a teenager i used to um get converse a lot converse is really cool it's got a nice rubber toe box right here and if you put a an ollie patch on them they last a good long while problem with converse all-stars that i found eventually is that i mean i'm not you know a buck oh five anymore i'm push i'm a little over 200 pounds and the heel protection the the kind of cushion that they put in them and the way the heel is built 
I, I just I have problems with them kind of walking on the pavement or anything so that's why I've gone away from the Converse especially um, if you're serious into skating and, and you ha have knee pads and you fall you eventually you know you will drag the toe of your shoe on the ground so eventually I'm going to have to go to something different um, that toe box right there that rubber toe box really helps um, the only shoe I know of out there that has a dedicated ollie patch and a toe box is Vision Streetwear and they're not very popular um, they used to be really expensive I've, I looked recently and they're not too bad so I may go to that when I finish with these. Um, and I mean, you really good shoes. I mean, they they look almost like um, they look like Skechers when they first came out. They they look like basketball shoes, really. And they're they're leather. They're, all of this is leather. Um, sometimes the stitching is is uh, protected. Yeah, I like it. I was looking at a um, a ah, uh, what do you call it? A review of some Nike skateboard shoes the other day. It was supposed to be budget, and the guy did some ollies, and the stitching right here just just came apart. And he was really knocking Nike over that, um, saying how cheap they were. They, they, they weren't worth the price but honestly that grip tape if there's any stitching anywhere close to where you're ollieing it's going to come apart that grip tape's going to tear it right up um, what you got to do to begin with is go ahead and shoe goo if you're going to be ollieing a lot with your skate shoes is go ahead and shoe goo Especially like the, the stitching and everything even if it has a leather Even if this part is leather you want to do your stitching Back in the day my best pair of shoes. I had that that I really didn't have to repair Was my airwalks and they were the I don't know what model they were they were the top of the line airwalks that looked like basketball shoes they were all leather um, at that time, I, I I just put up with with um, the amount of uh, venting that they had. Uh, I would wear them a little bit on the loose side so that my feet could breathe. And I had several pairs too. As you can see, I've got two pairs of shoes. I switched them out so that you know the next day when I'm wearing one pair, the other pair is drying out. And I, I judiciously use Lysol in my shoes. I wash them from time to time. And, and that's another thing. If, you, if you're going to get shoes on Facebook Marketplace, go ahead and wash them in the washing machine. You don't know what these people have had on their feet or whatever. Um, some people will actually dump a bottle of uh, alcohol into a pair of shoes and, um, before they wear them. But... Just washing them in the washing machine is good. So, yeah, even even your best skate shoes, you really need to be shoe gooing part of it over here. Um, and I mean that's just this reality of skateboarding, and it gets expensive if you keep replacing your shoes often. Um, I don't, you know, as as me as a fifty three-year-old man who still has to work and you know my household nobody else in my household earns money um, I've got to do this on a budget I've got to protect these shoes um, and when I start wearing pads at the skate park and doing a little bit more serious stuff I'm gonna have to shoe goo these toes too because um, that's that's gonna get worn through. Have you ever seen somebody walking around with with uh, shoes that the toe has worn through? Either they they push their toe up quite a bit when they walk or they're skateboarders and they have fallen with pads on and, and you, you slide down the the transition 
and the toes of your shoes just follow you, you know? So anyways, that's just a little little thing. Um, if you're in a if you're new to skateboarding or if you're getting back into it after many years, that's something you're gonna have to, to look into. Get you some shoe goo and start looking at shoes and how they're built because skateboarding tears tears up the uppers and like if if you do tricks on both sides you're gonna have to shoe goo this side too i i don't yet eventually i probably will but um for now i'm just gonna shoe goo them on this one side until i start doing switch foot stuff so there you are thank you God bless you. Have a good day.